hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest, let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be Why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, the moon landing? That didn't happen. I promise it didn't. I would bet like all of my money. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Ooh, daddy. Daddy. Hey, Gauls, how you doing? Let's recap this whole lying about surgeon drama. Do you ever get discouraged from losing weight because of your diagnosis of a lipedema? Yes, I do get discouraged. I will always have like a disfigured body. I'll never have the body that I want. But I'm also so far past that like vein. Oh, I just want to look better. It's, it's all about health. It's all about the fact that I do not want to die. This whole long as video was filled with her preaching and talking like she has figured everything out which was very annoying. How doesn't she feel embarrassed while she is sitting here talking about not wanting to die or losing just pounds weekly or monthly? Question is, what is the worst habit that you do when you're in love with someone? So not only do I have BPD, but I have massive, massive anxious attachment issues. Like it is so freaking bad. But when I'm in love with someone, they become my everything. One small change or tweak in tone or words can literally feel like the end of the world that's how i felt like i'm just being dramatic i'm just drama queen and it's just like no like now that i know the reason it's like wow i have bpd that's why i'm doing this like i know this isn't normal i know this isn't rational having that answer has helped me so much i just know she uses this in every argument she has with her girlfriends like using it as a weapon on why she is acting the way she is. How many times have you ordered takeout in March and what was it? So today's actually March 12th and I've only ordered takeout three times. So I'm actually very proud of that, like round of applause. Again, being proud of bare minimum. I mean, if I was her, I would order takeout too. We all have seen how she cooks. Do you consider yourself a sexual person? Oh, absolutely. We vibe in that way, like sex every day. Um, I'm a daily sex type of really pop. Do you use sex toys with yourself or with partners? Yes, I do. What's your ideal sexual fantasy? Tie me up, uh, put my panties on my mouth. <laughs> oh boy. Come do whatever you want to me because I'm tied up. So there's nothing I can do about it. Gore, you don't need to be tied up. Your movement is already limited low. Wifey number one, the same as wifey number two. Wifey number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are all the same person. Yes, wifey is wifey, and she is the hand which is feline. It was just another lie she made up for no reason. What really happened during the weight loss surgery era? Okay. The weight loss surgery era was such a waste of time. She went in looking to get weight loss surgery and got out with two new mental illness diagnoses and she was happy. I came on my YouTube and I said, oh, I can't get weight loss surgery until I don't binge for a whole year. It came out of nowhere. So long story short, hundreds and hundreds of people were emailing my surgeon. My surgeon was Dr. Smith, um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. He explained to me the type of messages and things that he was receiving. It was people saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. But once the surgeon heard about all this and heard my side of the story, that is when things were changed. And he was like, you know what? A year is way too long. He explained to me that they've never been in this type of situation. He is on a popular weight loss show and they never received emails about the patients. Interesting. This is very weird actually. So he decided she has to wait one year because of random people emailing him. And then he changed his mind after she talked to him and convinced him. That's a weird thing for a doctor to do. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. So basically this whole thing doesn't even matter because it didn't affect her decision at all. She didn't get it because she is scared and she wants to keep losing one pound per week. I, I didn't. I genuinely didn't. I didn't feel like I had the support that I needed because me and my ex, my now ex, we were just going through a lot at the time and it was super expensive, like $35,000. Like it was just like a lot of different things that were causing me to be like, this is not the right choice right now. What do you mean support? I thought Feline was the best girlfriend in the world and pushed you to lose weight. And you are 500 pounds. The only support you need is yourself because it is a life or death situation. Hey guys, so I got back from a friend's house, I want to say like 30 minutes ago. I ordered McDonald's. I actually drank tonight, which I haven't drank in like over a month. So, okay, so I'm about to take my hair down. I want to show you guys just how much better it looks. I'm not going to lie to you. When I watch this clip back, I'm like, damn, I miss my super long hair. But I know that if I take care of it now, keep a split ends cut, stop with the heat, it's going to grow back. It'll be okay. Girl, you look crazy and your hair here looks a mess. How can you look at it and miss it? We all love our hair, but damn, it grows back. Why is she so serious about it? Look, like look at how pretty. I know, I'm literally calling my hair pretty. Yeah, I am. Did this, I did this, I did that. A lot of you were like, that is such a blunt cut. It does look a lot better. I still think the ends could be cut more. And what did you exactly do? Cut it? 
She is even proud of that Lowell. So the first one being is why did you lie about your surgeon? Because a lot of people went back and they were like, wait, I thought your surgeon was in a different state. Wait, I thought your surgeon was a female. I'm confused. So yeah, I did lie. I did lie about who my surgeon was. I lied about where they were. I don't know Gauls. I have been making videos about a Gaul since 2019 now, and I never have the urge to go and look up her surgeons or where she lives. This is not that serious. Let's just watch her videos and make it as light as possible. I don't blame her for lying about this honestly, she knows her audience and what they are capable of so. If she lied about her weight or her diagnosis then that's a different case. But lying about where she lives or which doctor she goes to is fine in my opinion. She made three videos about this whole drama it is not that important to us, and I don't think anyone cares anymore. But, she doesn't have any content to film, so she is milking the bull. I want to talk about is my new weight loss challenge that I want to do. I love a challenge. You guys know that I don't succeed in them very much. I simply want to see how many days it takes me to get to 450 pounds. What I'm doing to lose weight is I am actually counting calories again. It's literally because I have to be aware of truly how much I am eating. So we have a new challenge. She wants to see how long it takes her to lose 50 pounds while counting calories. We have been here, done this so no comment. So right here, I'm actually gonna put uh, my four weigh-ins so you guys can see how I did. So here they are. All right, you guys, so here is to day one. Let's do it. 497.8 As you can see, I am being successful. I've lost 5.2 pounds and I'm literally only on day four. Like, hi, queen. So I am honestly tired of telling her to not be so proud of early results. Consistency is key to anything and she doesn't know how to do that. Now she is showing us what she eats in a day and it is good. Amberlynn's problem is not that she doesn't know what to eat. Her problem is that she gets bored or whatever and falls off. Okay, you guys, so here is the first thing I'm having today. It is just coffee and it is 45 calories. Okay, you guys, so for my first meal, I'm making some corned beef hash, which I have been loving lately. It is literally so good. Also, I'm going to be having some eggs. Okay, so here it is complete. The corned beef hash is 340 calories. And then here is two scrambled eggs, which is 140. So, so with my first meal, I am having the sparkling ice and cherry limeade. So it is time for my next meal. My goal is to just not order takeout while I'm at home and to stay under my calories. It is only 490 calories. So I currently have it warming up in the microwave now. So I'll show you when it's done. Honestly, it smells delicious and it looks really good in my opinion. Okay, you guys, so it is my next meal and this is 614 calories. So with this meal, I'm going to have a sun-kissed orange, zero sugar. Okay, you guys, so it is my last meal and I wanted something sweet. I know it doesn't look the greatest. I mean, I think it looks kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. It was a full day of eating and I want to say the whole day I felt very satisfied. I was fine. I didn't feel hungry. Nothing. So that was a total of 1,839 calories. I think it was a good day too. What do you guys think? So you think she is going to succeed in the challenge?